Welcome back guys, this is Samuel502 Inc. I'm back and we are continuing with Code Academy's PHP introduction um section two out of three PHP syntax baby. Now um I'm just going to show you guys some of you guys how to test out the new coding environment or UI, whatever you want to call it. Um I in your settings there's you can edit your account settings and there's a check uh checkbox which enables you to become a beta tester. A beta tester means when the Code Academy comes up with a new idea and they're looking to implement it on a few groups of people, you will get to try out that particular um code or the results of that code before everybody else does who doesn't want to um so i've pretty much got it enabled so all you have to do is press try it now at the top it should scroll down if you don't oh well now let's really start diving in so pretty much what we want to do for the first one is learn how to echo um echoing is really simple it's pretty much as easy as writing a string on um in the editor editor whatever you want to call it editor editor okay so that's interesting uh, oh never mind semicolon that's even interesting or oh never mind I know why echo there we go um it's very important that you actually listen to what's going on so like I said before we set it up with a question mark and then PHP and in this case we want to echo it out which is pretty much like printed it out on the um on the web page or the browser whatever you want to call it and we wrote in a string saying I'm learning PHP and to close it we just we most importantly you have to put a semicolon and then a question mark and then a less than sign I, I, I think that's what it's called and this is what you get I'm learning PHP let's go back to the editor start new lesson so um on number two for arithmetic, we are adding 17 times 123, and what they want us to do is to include it in inside of this. So let's do PHP, and I'm just going to say you might as well get used to setting all of these up first. Um what to write what to write 17 times 123 submit code make sure to echo it out um learn from the mistakes that I'm showing you guys are right now. Make sure to include echo to print it out. Um, you will get an error message nine times out of ten. Um, so moving on, we want to echo out a string. And this time I've learned my lesson. I'm not going to make another mistake. Hopefully. So. Let's do this and let's do this and let's try this. Echo Henry was here. Press submit and boom, boom, boom. We got what we wanted. Henry was here. Print it out um, on the browser. So back to the editor. It's pretty. Um, it's pretty simple. Unlike the unlike the numbers, 
you have to put apostrophes into it. And, and if you guys have ever watched any of my previous tutorials, you will know that whether it's JavaScript, what, whether it's pretty much any other language, you need an apostrophe for strings. I mean, for Java, you still need an apostrophe, but you can specify that early on. And we're almost done, four out of six. Inside here, what they want us to do is to create our own variables. Um, variables are very important because they basically act as placeholders. And placeholders are even more important because they allow us to manipulate them like you store whatever you val value that you want to use later on and you just bring it on and you can reuse it as many times as possible they are amazing so let's do this my first variable semicolon oh make sure you set it equal to zero this is amateur hour right now. So, this is how you make your own variable in PHP. You have to use a dollar sign. Um, so, if you guys are watching the Social Network movie, you saw a lot of lines of code. And back then, I really didn't know what it meant. But now, I know that it incorporated PHP, some HTML, some AJAX. Um, I don't know about jQuery, but I, I I guess it incorporated a lot of multiple languages. Um, so creating a variable, make sure to include the dollar sign and make sure to give it a value of zero. Um, right here all they want us to do is learn how to fix the code so if we press submit this is what happens oh the humiliate oh the humanity well this isn't correct because we have to add a semicolon and that's pretty much what a lot of people miss when they're writing code they'll miss a semicolon curly braces um, Sometimes they won't put apostrophes. So yeah, we still get the same result. Except it's multiplied, as you can all see that. Um, and for the last one of all, we want to get into the habit of commenting. And comments are pretty much note to self. And look at here, it doesn't pop up anywhere. So submit code nothing pops up that's what a comment is it's a note to self thank you very much this is henry15022 inc add like subscribe i'm out